In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload and set up your documents, your templates, so you can get them prepared to send to your buyers and sellers. And then I'm going to also show you what it looks like and how to send them out to your buyers and sellers after you get it uploaded. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we get into the video, I realized that you weren't subscribed to the channel. If you can hit that like button, that helps with the algorithm so the video can be exposed to people like yourself so they can get the same value that you are about to get. Hit that subscribe button. By subscribing to the channel, that lets me know that the content that I'm providing, you are getting value and it's helpful. As always, thanks for your support. Now let's get into the video. So this is your dashboard, obviously. Um, once you log in, this is your dashboard. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to the left panel menu and we're gonna go to the general and then we're gonna go to eSign. And this is going to be where all your templates are going to be housed, okay? And from here, to add a new template, we're going to go to Add eSign Template. We're going to upload the agreement that we're looking to create. Now, once we get to this page, you're going to have a few different things we're going to look at, okay? You have on the left-hand side, you have party number one, which is going to be one of the people who are signing the document. And you're going to have signature fields, data entry fields, and your personalized fields. In the center, you're going to have the actual agreement that we're going to complete. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have the recipient parties, which is going to be the people who is going to be viewing, seeing the document, signing the document, editing the document, and things like that, okay? So to get started, we're going to make sure we have both parties add it to this document to prepare to send it to. So being that it's going to, we're sending this purchase and sales agreement to a seller, we're going to need to add that seller's role. Okay. So we have the buyer, which is, we edited it already and we're going to edit and we're going to add that as seller. Okay. So we know which one is the buyer, which one is the seller. Now to make this completely easy for the seller, all we want them to do is sign the document, right? So you have the option to do different things here but we just want them to fill out fields and sign, okay? But we're gonna minimize the amount of fields that we want them to fill out by doing all of that stuff on the buyer side. So when they get to the contract, all they need to do is hit sign. All of the other fields are gonna be completely filled in. So for seller, we're gonna make sure party number two is selected, and we're gonna make sure that green is selected as well, and we're gonna scroll all the way down, right? The first thing is seller one. If there's two sellers, you do this, you know, you add another recipient, but since it's one seller, we're just going to go here and we're going to put, uh, we're going to do a text field. We're going to drag this over and for their name, we're going to do view only and we're going to put value. We're going to put seller name. So being that is view only, they're not going to have to fill that in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to signature. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go date sign. We're just going to resize it a little bit. And with this, you can also change the font size. You can increase the font size if you like. Um, we're going to bump this up a little bit. Bring that out. So now the seller section is complete. So when they open up the document, all of the fields are going to be completed. All they have to do is click signature and then the date sign is going to automatically populate for them. So they only have to click one button once they get into this document. But now let's prepare the document for the seller. So we're going to go to party number one, which is the buyer, which is you. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that everything is selected here. And we're going to just go through the document and fill out the fields line by line. So this agreement made this day of, and we're going to put date sign, just drag that over, resize it, buy in between. And we're going to do a text field. And we're going to put the seller name, view only. And we're going to put value, seller name. And then you have buyer, we're gonna copy. To make it a whole lot faster, we're just gonna copy and paste. Just gonna copy and paste. And we're gonna put the buyer name, which is your name or your company name. We're just gonna put ABC LLC. That's the company buying it or you buying it. If you're doing it under your personal name, put your name. If you're doing it under your LLC, or your company name, put yours there. Um, then we're gonna copy and paste. The property address, we're gonna change the value. 123 Main Street. And then we're going to finish out the address, obviously, with the city, state, and zip code, and the county. We're going to copy, paste. This is the purchase price. I want to agree, say 100000 Whoops. I'm in the wrong one. So, 123 Main Street. 
Then the purchase price, 100,000. We're gonna copy that. Then balance due at closing. It's gonna be 100,000 as well. Then we're gonna copy, paste. This is gonna be the earnest money. So we put a thousand there. And then you can adjust the text size, the font size if you like. We go up 12, up 12, up 12. Then we're gonna go all the way down and complete all the documents. Right here we have another thing we need to add, which is business days. So we're just gonna put 15, adjust the font size to 14. Boom, now that's there. And then now it's gonna come down to the buyer, right? It's to us. So now we're gonna put our name. So we're just gonna put a text field, or you can just copy and paste like I did. ABC LLC, or your personal name, and then signature. All right. And that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna, everything is completed. All of the lines are filled. Everything is in gray is already gonna be completed and filled out. So nobody has to fill that out. And then everything in green or blue is gonna be signatures. I forgot the date, so we're gonna add date sign right here. And everything that's in green or blue is gonna require signatures. So that makes it a whole lot easier. We'll hit save and close. And then now we go back to the template list and boom, it's completed. Now let me show you how to send it to actual sellers and set that up. So we're gonna go to our lead. We're gonna go to test lead right here. Then we're gonna go to e-sign. Then we're gonna go to actions. Let's say we already agreed to a price, they agreed to the contract, et cetera. We're gonna hit send for e-sign. And then we're gonna select that purchase and sales agreement. Now for the buyer, we're gonna select we're gonna fill in my info, right? So for the buyer, if you're the actual buyer in this deal, obviously we're wholesaling the deal. So for the buyer info, you're gonna fill out my info, select that drop down. And for the seller, we're gonna fill out primary seller info and it's gonna fill in their information. We're gonna hit submit. Now we're gonna to get to the same screen that we had before. If you wanna make some changes or adjustments, you can do that there. Um, but it's already done for us, right? Since we did it on the template before. So we don't have to say, we don't have to waste any time doing it, you know, every single time. We already have the template set up. We can just go ahead and do that. And now what we wanna do is uh, pay it, before we hit send, we wanna make sure we set up the send order, right? So as the buyer, you wanna get the contract, you wanna sign the contract first, right? So when you have it set up for the buyer to sign the contract first, all of these fields are gonna be shown on the seller side, so all they have to do is hit sign, and then that's gonna complete the process of them signing the document. So you can hit enforce signing sequence and put your the buyer up there as number one, and then you can put the seller there as number two. And then you can also add somebody else. Let's say you have a partner, you can add them in there and have them uh, just view the document once they get it. You don't, they don't have to sign anything, or if they do have to sign something, you can add them in there as well. Um, but we're just gonna leave it just like this. And then we are going to hit send. Now this is what it's gonna look like once you hit get ready to send it, all right? This is kind of what it's gonna look like in the seller's email. So when they get the document, you can change the subject line. Um, you can change everything in here in the body of the email. But for this example, just gonna leave it as this and hit send. And now that the document is sent, you can go to eSign and it's gonna show that it was sent right here inside the CRM. So now it's gonna to send to you first so you can review it. So we're gonna go check it out. Let's go to our email. So once you get it, it's gonna to go to your email immediately. You hit view document. And now we see all the fields already completed inside the document, okay? So now all we need to do is go hit signature and then you can create your own signature you can change your signature style however you want to do it whatever you like and then save it you can draw your own stick signature whatever and then you're just gonna hit sign 
and then hit finish. So now we're going to check and see what it looks like on the seller's end. So we'll go to our email. This is what they'll get. Resimply contracts, pre review, review and sign a purchase and sales agreement, just like we did. Then we're going to get view document and see what they see. And they're just going to see everything completely filled out, just like we talked about. And all they have to do is sign. and hit finish. And now once the seller signs the document, you go back to general, go to e-sign, you go to document, and then now it's gonna say status complete, and you can view it here. And you will see that the document was signed and completed. You can download it. You will also get an email from Resimply showing you the actual document, the PDF of the contract right here of it being signed. And pretty much that is how you set up your documents to get sent for eSign within Resimply. That way you don't have to utilize any external softwares or platforms. And Resimply is a pretty good tool because it has all the information inside the CRM and you're doing everything there. It's a one-stop shop. I hope you find this helpful and I hope you got some value from the video, but until next time, see you on the next one.